Hello and welcome to Kit and Caboodle. I've never done a video like this before and I'm a bit scared. I've got no makeup on. It's a sight to behold, I'm aware. Give me a break, folks. I'm 44. So I've just, I'm trying to improve my skincare regime. I've put, just had a mask on, I've washed it off, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing like reviews for the body shop for a friend who's become a consultant of, oh, that's getting worse. I caught my thumb and can you see the blood through there? That's disgusting. I'm going to put some makeup on now because I need to do another video. I need to talk about The Last of Us 2. I need to talk about it, guys. And I'm not doing it like this because you'll get distracted by the state of my face. So I am going to, for the first time in my life, put my makeup on on camera. I am going to speed it up so you don't have to watch the whole palaver that it is. But I want you to see how... Look at the colour of my neck. Look at the colour of my face. Very few people that I see doing makeup put makeup on their face to take the colour down. They usually put it on to bronze it or tan it or some of these things. I've got the opposite problem. I'm too red around the face. I'm not going to use any green correction stuff. Let's get this straight. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have all these fancy expensive products. I'm just winging it with stuff that I got bought as presents or stuff I picked up myself to try. It's just a normal person putting a bit of slap on their face that doesn't really know what they're doing. So disclaimer, you don't need to tell me you did that wrong. I, I know. So first of all, I'm going to have now, I have a few bits that are expensive because I got them as presents from kind friends or um, like this. When I went to Florida last year, I um, bought a couple of things in, so it's a photo, no, it was the Mac shop, I think. I bought this, it's called Prep and Prime. And you can put it on before you put makeup on to sort of like set your face. And sorry, not set your face, to a base for your makeup to work to. When you finish, you can spray it again and it helps set your night Place. It's flavoured with rose and it is absolutely divine. I got that in November of last year in Florida. So obviously we're a lot of months on and that's all I've used because I don't use it every time because it was flipping expensive and I don't remember how expensive but I went into the MAC shop and I bought a mascara, this, a foundation which was this one. Studio Sculpt SPF 15 Broad Spectrum um, and one other thing I can't remember what it was and I think I spent £111. That is obscene. That's not like me. I don't do that. This was a treat when I was on holiday for myself. But I'm not using that because it's flipping expensive. Um, I'm just going to use one that I bought recently that this is really good. Apart from the fact, I don't know if it's the makeup's fault, after a couple of hours my face gets really shiny. Um, this is called is it pronounced Ferra? I saw this on a YouTube advertisement. Yes, I'm one of those people. Um, and it was showing these people with like really bad skin. Um, covering their skin with this and it worked really well. And it says oil controlling. I would argue with that. But wait till you see how it covers the colour of my face. So let's have a little spritz of this first. It's probably too much, Lisa. I'm going to blind myself. And let's get some of this on. I will speed some of this up. I'm going to use my mirror because my mirror that's been sellotaped together. My little in my makeup box mirror. Um, I know people that watch this. If there are anyone that watch this that, um, that put makeup on on a regular basis or that are any good at it. I've just broken the thing. I know you're going to be cringing folks. My pump's not working. Oh, flipping hell. My pump wasn't working. I just sprayed my cup everywhere. Oh, Lisa, for flips. I don't even know how to squeeze it out of the flipping tube. Right, so let's put some of this on first. Am I doing this properly? Most. Oh, no, you don't want me to do that, do you? Then you can't see what I'm doing. realized the lighting in here is awful. 
you're probably not getting a very good idea at all. But, um, right, I realised I haven't put on any um, concealer, which to be honest, I, I've lost the top of this now, which to be honest, I don't really use concealer that much. I know I could do with it for under my eyes and stuff, but um, when you get older, when you put too much crap around your eyes, it really settles in. I did use, it was one that All Suze recommended. It was a, a cream concealer, which was really good, but it was quite expensive. So I used it and I didn't buy another one because I'm tight like that. I've got lots of concealers, but they're like, you know, like cheap ones like Mark. And um, should I try and put some on? Let's have a go. But I don't really feel that it makes that much difference, to be honest. That's too dark for my face. Look at the flipping sketch of that. I know you're supposed to use eyeshadow primer. I normally don't, but let's put some on today. I don't normally. Again, it's not something I buy. I should be more arsed about doing makeup properly, but what, what can you do? So I've done that. Now I am going to put, yes, this is another thing I got in the MAC shop. It is a loose powder, which is probably nearly done and it's going to break my heart because I love it. Um, Extra Light Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. So, this is going to take the shine off my face, hopefully. Because believe me, there's plenty of it. Right, that'll do for powder. The stages of me putting makeup on, I, I start to look ill, but you can see my face and my neck are getting there. They're closer. Um, so yeah, when I don't wear makeup, I get people ask me a lot if I'm tired or if I'm ill or if I don't feel well, I look run down. It happens a lot. And you can see when I put my face. Can you imagine if my face was actually the same colour as my neck? Jesus. I look like a flipping corpse. I'm just using some highlighter now, which is just like a really cheap bog standard highlighter. I don't use much of it, to be honest. I've got a big spot there. Like, I know some of the spaces you're supposed to use highlighter, but um, a lot of people probably take their time to do this properly. I don't. As I say, it's just a quick... I need to put makeup on and I thought I'd film it for today. Let's put that aside and get some of this. I don't know how to do this. This is Makeup Academy Bronze and Sculpt, which used to have a highlighter in it. Gone. Look at the, how dark that is. Anybody out there knows for my skin type, for my colour of my skin, if I want a contouring thing, what, what do I get? I haven't a clue. So let's have a go at this old contouring palaver. I really, really don't know what I'm doing, as you can probably tell. I know that we need to cover the old double chin down there, get as much of it on as we can. Oh, it's so attractive putting makeup on, isn't it? Probably see the hole there, it's from my nose stud. I don't have pores that big. <laughs> right, is there enough? Oh, Christ. I'm going to be putting my hair down and that covers a multitude of sins, folks. It really does. Right, that'll do for that. You can see how much effort goes, <laughs> how much preciseness goes into this. Right, so what we do now? Right, I absolutely adore this palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, purchased from me by Kelly, um, my friend. Um, but there's one of these colours that I used to death because I it's it's the nicest shade of like base eyeshadow I've ever had. It is called Dusk. I cannot get it. You can't buy it on its own. It's a pain in the arse and these palettes are really expensive. So I tend to use this 
I've also broken it. I tend to use this set in the middle. Um, these sort of colours are more for if you've got warm complexion. I've got a very cool complexion, so the person that did the makeup for my wedding told me I've got a cool palette complexion. So I will use these ones also, but I just, I love this so much. So I googled Nip and Fab have got a couple of colours that are very similar to the, that one. So um, I bought that and I mixed the two now. <laughs> anything to like even closely so I've got my little my, my little Cinderella bag with my little shoe on I also bought for my bag Kelly um, and my brushes how how organized is that other people have hundreds of brushes in little pots I've got mine tied with an elastic band so I don't know why but I always put this on first just underneath all the rest of my makeup I don't know if it helps to hold the rest of the makeup. Look at the length of them flipping eyebrows. I need them sorted. I could do with going somewhere to get my eyebrows sorted. But I have this weird thing where I don't like to be touched. I don't like to go to the hairdressers. Um, I don't like going to anything that requires people poking with me. I hate it. You will never get me to go for a massage, ever. It will never happen. Face massage, any type of massage, it's not happening. Right, so I'm going into this nip and fab. Um, it doesn't have a name. Mm, Jeweled, it does have a name. And the shade that's quite close to the one called Dusk is called Rock. Is that the wrong flipping? It's called Madness, I think. And it's this one here. That's quite close to the shade. Um, it doesn't have the same shimmer that um, the Kat Von D one had, but really, what do you expect? I mean, Kat Von D eyeshadow is super expensive, um, and this wasn't, so. Let's have a look. Again, disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing. There's going to be people sat at home going, oh my god. I think what I'll do is I shall speed the rest of this up because this is not a tutorial because I have no flipping idea what I'm doing. I just thought I'd do a different video for a change. Let's speed it up. is a gel cream perfect brow which mine certainly aren't but I just need to obviously darken them a little bit don't I so it's just like like a sort of like a it's not gel it's like a wet eyeshadow almost I need something doing with my brows they are a disgrace how do people do that thing? You know that thing that you see in a lot of young girls on Instagram where it like starts off really light and it gets darker? It's like, how do these people, it's witchery, it's sorcery. I have no idea. But I need my brows sorting out, I really do. I might even be tempted to go and get it done. I would like my eyelashes done. Um, all Sue's that I watch. She gets her eyelash extended so like they look longer without needing to wear falsies and they look amazing. I would love to have that done. But 
I don't know if I'm brave enough to go and have someone criticising my eyebrows and my eyelashes. But every time I go anywhere, like a hairdresser's or any of those things, um, they always lecture me about how crap whatever it may be is. It's like, I know, I'm aware of these things. Even the girl that I hired to do my makeup for my wedding kept telling me how dry and, <laughs> and crap my skin was. It's like, it's my flipping wedding day. I don't need to know how crap and dry my skin is. I'm aware of these things, believe it or not. Right, I'm not sure whether, I don't always do a winged eyeliner. This is also Kat Von D uh, winged eyeliner, Trooper Black. It's called a tattoo liner. There you go. And I think, surprise, surprise, Kel surprise, I think Kelly bought this from me. This is where I get all my nice makeup. Right, so, shall I? There's this thing when you've done makeup, you put this on and you do it completely wrong and you have to start again. I don't always use it because I find sometimes it makes my eyes look smaller. But let's do it, just for the sake of it today. This won't be good, folks. This will not be good, but let's do it. I can hear people saying, why is she starting from there? That looks crap. Yes, it probably does look crap. Why do we pull these faces when we're putting makeup on? I'm trying so hard not to. I think I hear my husband and son coming back. Yeah, it's going to amuse them no end that I'm doing this. Now in V and trying to get the other one to match that one, which it won't. Where's Molly? No Molly. Have you had a walk? Where have you been? Look at the state of that. Is there any save in it? Could be worse, it'll do. They're not even. Doesn't matter. If anything, hopefully this will make people feel better that um, can't put on makeup like videos on YouTube. Because I can't either. This... Right, this is the one I got in Florida. The MAC one that was really expensive. This is one I got after watching Poison Pixies video. Um, Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift, which I actually really like. So I'll use this one, which is the cheaper one, today. That's another thing, you're supposed to do that first. I never do because I always end up ruining what I've done. Oh, look at the face. I don't know why we think that helps, it doesn't. Still doing it. So I really hope you're not watching this. Be entertaining for you if nothing else. Suze is a makeup artist. His makeup is always flawless. It looks fantastic. And mine however is not. Which is why I've never done one of these videos before and why I will probably never do one again. Just thought it would be nice to do one of how people that don't know what they're doing do. I have a lot of friends, a lot of female friends that don't wear makeup at all. I would love to have a face where I could do that, but I don't. Right, what have we done with the old eyes? Just need to do the old mouth now, get that back in. I have a love-hate relationship with lipstick, so I can never find one that won't come off. Um, I suppose I should probably tidy my brushes up after, shouldn't I? I'm a bit... It's making me twitch looking at them. I can't. <laughs> I'm just putting them away now. Put the elastic band back around your brushes. Right, let's get a lipstick. 
I think this is almost done, but I'm going to go with it. This is a brand I've never heard of. Um, Pop Feel. Poison Pixies YouTube channel. Tried some of these and they were really good at not coming off. So I bought some. And they are very good. They do eventually come off me though. Um, but they are probably one of the best I've tried for not coming off. And they're matte, which is what I like. I tend to go for a deeper dark red. Matte is what I like. Always looking at Isaac. Isaac, are you behind the door? She's just staring at you, you can't hide. I'm just showing how not to put makeup on. <laughs> you don't need to stand and stare at either. This is almost done, so let's... Yes, I've shown those already in my vlog. That's my queen stumps, by the way. Oh, there's a bit there. My son's rattling about over there, that's what you can hear. Careful of my queen stumps. Mm. Almost done. I got this from Avon before, I thought it would be really good. 2M1, Mark 2M1 Lip Tattoo, which has got a thin end to obviously line your lips and a thicker end to colour them in. I think I used it once and it ran out, so I don't recommend this. This probably won't. I don't usually line my lips to, oh god, to be honest, this is why. Also, I need to get some hair remover on my face. Nobody ever talks about hairy faces. Like that is loads darker than the lipstick, which so that's not working. So finish. It's a little thing called lip coat, which is meant to help keep your lipstick on when you eat and drink. Works to an extent, but I obviously eat and drink like a I don't know what. Because it doesn't work for me. It stings a little bit when you put it on, by the way. I don't know what that means it's doing. Right, so I'm done. I'm gonna have a spray of my stuff. Isaac sat looking at me. Why are you looking at me? Don't look at me. Right, that's done. Right, let's go and get the hair out of the ponytail. Okay, and we're done. It's not too bad. It's not professional, but it looks a bit better than I normally do. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you did, um, video of normal person doing makeup that doesn't know what they're doing and doesn't use all the right products. There we go. Overnight from Kit and Caboodle.